wait a minute, did Jeffrey do what I think Jeffrey did at the end of this episode? Did he? I think he did. We're going on my YouTubers, subscribers. Hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. It's Thursday, so that means a new episode of Bel Air, the newest Teacock show based on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It just wrapped up and it just happened now. Episode four is out right now for you guys to watch. I think it's, you gotta be a paid member for a Peapop. Peapop. Peacock to watch it. Do what most of us do, just borrow it from a friend or a relative. They both know. This episode had a good time with because there's a lot to unpack in this episode. And this was a real good, feel good episode. A lot of things were addressed that I was just like, ah, again, mirroring things from the earlier teachers of the Fresh Breads. First thing I'll say right off the bat, of that, a lot of people were kind of like, oh, that was like an issue with episode one, two, or three. Jeffrey and Ashley, they got more screen time in this episode. And I think that it really paid off. Of course, that relationship between Jeffrey and Ashley, that was really like, like that was like his like low-key daughter in the original. So I'm glad that that's like kind of blossoming in the forefront. Also, it's a different take on, it's a different take on Ashley. Ashley just, you know, she's so millennial now, you know how they always do and shit. Jeffrey to Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. My man. Get into my thoughts and break down the highlights of episode four of Bel Air that's on Peacock right now. Let's get into it. Spoilers and all. Let's go. Pretty much one of the highlights we can take away from this episode is the fact that Carlton and Will, they actually are starting to get along a little bit. I uh, the end of this episode, yeah. We'll say that Carlton is still, he was still kind of an asshole, still dicking down in the first half of the episode, but I feel like by the time we got to the end of the episode, Carlton was kind of just like, oh, you know what? Not a complete asshole. And I don't like that. You know, like I said, you can tell because by the end of the episode, Will told Carl Carlton C and shit. That's what Will said in the original. So the fact that he called him C and it's just like they did a little fist bump. I'm like, okay, you know, it's starting to blossom. They're not, they're starting to become frenemies now. I'll take it. Anything Carlton just not, you know, dicking out, just, you know, doing the coke and shit. As long as he ain't doing that shit and he's being cool, I like it. But really, one of the forefront of this episode is the fact that, you know, the Banks family is getting together, they're doing the campaign, stuff like that. That's going on. And it's just like, okay, Uncle Phil is just really out of touch with, like, you know, the black community. One thing the show is really like hammering home is just like, yeah, the black community, that's like, you know, it's for us black people, it's for the culture, that's what the show is about for the culture. One thing I definitely like, the fact that Uncle Phil is like, I was worried that when Will gave that like idea to Uncle Phil and Carlton, Carlton's like, that ain't gonna work. Uncle Phil's gonna be like, fuck you, no. That Uncle Phil was just kinda like, you know what? Okay, let's have that skate party. Skate party was dope, I, I like that too. The standouts, like stand out, your boy Jeffrey, he ain't no butler, he is a secret service agent or something. Dude, you saw when Will and Lisa were having that talk outside the school and shit, you saw this shady asshole with a neck tattoo, you thinking like, oh fuck, the shit, the shot, find him. No, come find out that Jeffrey's got eyes and ears everywhere and shit like that, keeping tabs on the family. So the fact that he was just like, yeah, we paid for shot off, but he still wants to come after Will. Jeffrey's just like, okay, then, well, we ain't gonna pay him. So we'll have to try other ways. Oh, oh, yes, Jeffrey! Another awesome aspect in this episode, we showed that uh, Hillary and Jazz, oh, I think they might got a thing going on. Whole big contrast from Hillary and Jazz's relationship in the original. And I like it because they had to have like, a Kendrick spirit common ground type thing. Cause she's trying to find her way and Jazz is already kind of established. It's trying to tell her like, yeah, you know, just, do what you do best. You have your talent. Just grow that. Be afraid. Don't, you don't need that safety net. So I like that the fact that they're like, yeah, you know, I can see them going places. Like at first, she, was, she wasn't feeling my boy. By the time that was all over, and the fact that, yeah, like when she walked away, he might, like, <laughs> yeah, my man, Jazz. Love that shit. Also, one thing we got to talk about real quick and Vib. And, 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 come on, Aunt Viv. I understand, like, she wants to be an artist, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm like, but I'm also kind of like, Aunt Viv, you're kind of like, uh, are you jealous of your daughter? She's jealous of her daughter. Type below, let me know, to talk about it, because I'm just like, after they got back from the skating ring and everything it went cool and shit, it's just like, Hillary was like, yo, I, I'm getting, I'm moving out the house. I literally said I was going to do that next episode. And now this episode, you're like, a Really? You're going to a, a oh, what was, it, what was it, some type of, what was type of uh, YouTuber house or something? Hillary was just like, you just can't be happy for me. Can't even say congratulations. She just pieces out. And Vivian's just like, man, I really gotta just, I gotta think before I talk. Every black woman in America. Still love y'all though. Don't worry that Trey's gonna fly out to LA. So that's nice Harkison back to an early episode in the Fresh Prince where Trey, also betrayed by Ton Cheadle. Now Trey's gonna be in episode five maybe. We'll see. But the biggest takeaway, the real shock, is the fact that, you know, like, oh yeah, we found out that, spoilers, we find out that Rashad is dead. 
he's he's dead how did he die how did he die just like oh ooh. but the fact that it left me with kind of like a mm -hmm, because will was just like he's dead what gotta get to the bottom of this i'm just like no like if rashad is dead take your w and don't worry about it. I do have this like uh kind of feeling because I was thinking like Rashad was gonna be this like looming danger that was eventually gonna come to Bel Air by the time you get to the season finale, you're gonna have Rashad v Banks family, but I guess that ain't happening now. Oh well. Episode four of Bel Air is on Peacock right now. Yeah, I had a great time with it. What are your thoughts type below? Let me know. Let's just talk about this show because it's really good. You like it, you not like it where it's going. I can't wait for episode five. So I'll see you guys next Thursday for another Bel Air episode. As always, subscribe. Until next time.